Hello everybody, I'm Kim Langan and I'm here to talk about coins and the order in which you can put coins. Now, let's first of all talk about a coin. A coin is a part, bit of money. So, it's, you can have bills, which are paper, and coins, which are usually round. Sometimes they can be octagonal or other shapes as well. And those are coins and that's part of money. In Canada, where I live right now, it is, we call those coins cents. So we call them C-E-N-T-S, cents. It's not S-E-N-T, where you sent someone away. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about a coin. And one cent is the smallest coin that we can have here. Now, that cent, the symbol for a cent is that. Okay, so you can see the scent. Now, in Canada we use that, United States we use it. Now, where, where did this word come from? Well, if you think of the word century, then that century means 100. So if you were a century in the Roman army, guess how many soldiers worked for you or underneath you? 100, good for you. So if you are a little coin, one cent coin, how many one cent coins do you think you need to make one dollar? And that's, that's the key, and that's what we call our money here in North America, our dollars and cents. So 100 cents, so 100 cents equals one dollar. And our dollar symbol is here, and it equals one dollar. Now, when we write our cents, we write the cent symbol after the number, and when we write our dollar symbol, it is before. In some parts of the world, they write the dollar symbol afterwards, and um, that's a French way of writing it. So you have to know what part of the world you're in. You may use the same words for your money, but you actually put the symbols before or after it. It depends on where you are. So you know that 100 cents equals $1. In other parts of the world, they'll have pounds, and that's the symbol for pounds. Um, they could have rupees, maybe in your part of the world. Maybe you use shillings and, um, and pounds in another part, or, or pence. There's so many different types of money. So today, in, in your questions, what we're going to just say is coins. We actually don't say whether it is cent or whether it is a, a shilling or what, whatever it is. So let's look at these coins now. In this case, in Canada, we have a five cent coin, a 10 cent coin, and a 25 cent coin. We also have a dollar coin and a two dollar coin. We used to have a one cent coin. In the United States and of America, they actually still have a one cent coin, but we don't, and we call that a penny as well, all right? So, in this question, you just have these three coins. So it says three friends have three different coins. They line them up so that the first and the last, so the first and the last coin add up to 30 cents. Okay, so it's adding to 30 cents. Which, can, which coin is in the middle of the lineup? So let's talk about this a little bit, because first of all, it is in cents, all right? So that, it doesn't matter what it is, it just happens to be in cents in this case. And so they, at the first, it says the first and the last, add up to 30 cents. So the difference isn't 30 cents. The difference means that you would have to subtract. When it says they add up to 30 cents, you have to put them together to see if they will equal 30 cents. So let's try this. Let's start with our 10 cent coin first and put it over there. And if we had a 10 cent coin and we put a five with it first, what happens? What's 10 plus five? Hmm, that is equal to 15. And we want the first and the last. So this is the first, let's call this the first. And this is the middle. Whoops, let's call 
is the middle. And then we'd have one in the last. So you could go 10 and 5, and then you can try and add that last one up, but that's not really the most efficient way to do it. So you want to do the first and the last. Let's do 10 and 5. It doesn't matter what the middle one is, really, in a way. Okay, so 10 plus 5 is 15. Mm -mm, that doesn't make 30. So let's try now 10 with the next one. 10 plus 25, what is that equal to? 25 and 10 more is 35. <gasps> That's too big now. So nothing works with the 10 cent coin. So now let's try the option with the 5 cent coin. Well, with the 5 cent coin, we've already done 5 and 10. So now let's do 5 and 25. So 5 plus 25 is 30. We got it. Okay. So which coin is in the middle of the lineup? It asks, that's what the question is. And it says, that would mean that this one would go in the middle. So which coin is in the middle of the lineup? The 10 cent coin is in the middle. Okay, notice how I've written the cent sign here, and I've also got the 10 here with the cent afterwards. I've written a complete sentence answer. All the words are in here except for this symbol, the cent symbol. Okay, now you may have done this in a different lineup. You may have done 25 first and the five at the end. That also works, all right? Doesn't matter which order those two are. All you, that matter and all you really had to watch out for was the fact that this 10 is in the middle. And that's what you wanted to get as your answer. Okay, so you can make up even some other questions. You could say maybe they add up, the first and the last add up to 15. Maybe the difference between the first and the last is 5 cents. Maybe the difference is 20 cents. Maybe the difference is 15 cents. There's lots of questions, and if you've got a difference, you have to subtract. Whenever you have to, when you're adding or you find the sum, then you add. Okay, have fun with this and figure out what, what position all your coins are or whatever you need to figure out.